<clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about the plutonium fuel rods. I've seen a few people <laughs> point this out already. Yeah. Um, so specifically, that the the fact that you can sink plutonium fuel, fuel rods, that trade off. What yeah. was what was what started that? What made you uh, want to add uh, that? That was a game? super late thing. Hence, there not being any feedback in the game as well that you can sink that specific one, but not the other parts. Because uh, when we went to staging, uh, do do they know what staging no, is? No, so not so right. like we we have like steps when a patch reach you guys. So we have different builds of the game. So first we have our nightly build. We build automatically every night, which like isn't maintained by anyone specifically, but it's 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 building automatically every night. And then we take those builds and we play them and like, okay, they work. And then put them on staging, which is like the staging ground for us to put the game. Like it's the last step before it reaches public, so to speak. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what staging is. Yep. So when we put it on there, one of the people testing there, um, they actually suggested this, that you should be able to sync it at a certain stage. And I just thought that was quite interesting, especially if we could create that trade-off. So I just decided to give it a point value for the sink so that it could be sunk. And then I kind of forgot about it, then we shipped it. <laughs> and everyone's like, wait, there's a bug in the game. You can yep. sink it now. Yeah. Yeah, but that was specifically done as well because, yeah, we go to experimental. If we want to try those kind of things, we have to try them there. Hmm. And sometimes it's just best to just do it and see what the outcome is and i think generally the consensus is that it is nice that you can do it yeah uh but that there of course there needs to be a trade-off for it otherwise you're either going to do one or the other right and the trade-off so far has been like the hard well, i mean one of the hard parts the harder part i think has been the um, the overall balancing decisions that we've made for it that some people don't agree with hmm. and trying to figure out if the what now the best course of action is for the game uh because I'm pretty happy currently with the trade-off, personally. Right. So the, uh, like, how did you, I don't know exactly what you did with, uh, did you nuff it? <laughs> did you, like, make uh, uranium uh, fuel rods better or worse or how, or plutonium worse? Or... I I mean, in the end, nothing, I mean, so they changed. So what, what the outcome is, is that the fuel rods have half the cost, effectively, which you make way less, but they also give more power. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, the, the the effective outcome is that the last step to actually make the rods is half the cost from all the side resources that go in. So not that doesn't include the waste itself and all the parts that are there to uh, refine the waste into the plutonium. Mm -hmm. Just the last parts going into the plutonium fuel rod have been right. reduced by half. And we mostly wanted to focus on increasing the power gain from the rod. Because something that I saw, and I was wondering if I could kind of... Um, turn the perspective around because of that because I saw that players were looking at it and going whoa this doesn't really give that much power they didn't really look at it in a sense where you would expect it where they, they look at the whole setup and go okay this was the amount of effort what do I get from it by just doing the, these steps they looked at it individually and how much power it gave them compared to uranium and they were right. kind of disappointed so something that I'm trying now is to see because I felt the balance was right just that the perception of it wasn't really hitting home gotcha so i tried to uh what, what we did now we increased it by four so it's twice as strong as uranium right but we kept the amount that you the amount of power that you get per amount of uranium waste the same so effectively we didn't change that much okay but maybe we still so this is the thing with game development though sometimes you only need to do a tiny tweak to make a huge effect on decision yeah. making so, yeah, so... I was kind of reminded by this thing that happened in Sanctum that Oka told me about a while back. Mm -hmm. Where apparently they had a weapon that people felt it was super underpowered. So then they balanced it and they made it stronger and they amped up the particle effects. And then people were saying it was overpowered. <laughs> and then they realized they never actually changed the damage value. So just by changing the particle effect, people felt that it went from underpowered to overpowered. <laughs> while the, the actual output really hadn't changed. Now, of course, amazing. this is a very different game, and you can actually completely calculate the strength of your your power production yeah. by resources going in and the power that you get out. 
That's amazing. But I felt maybe it's kind of a similar issue where just the perception of the vaults giving a certain amount of power might kind of um, mislead certain players that plutonium isn't as strong yeah. as it actually kind of is. I guess there can also be something with the, like the the fact that it's a new thing and people feel like, oh, this is the way to do it. It's, it reminds me a little bit of like when Overwatch introduced new characters and they always feel like they're overpowered. The fact is like it's just a new character and like it just feels off because you haven't figured out like how they work fully. So they can also mm -hmm. be a certain aspect of that as well. Is it is it final now that we are gonna allow you to sync the plutonium fuel rods? Because some people are not like convinced. Convinced that this is gonna stick in the EA. Do you know why not? Is uh, it because they don't like it, or is it because they think it's uh, still think it's a bug? Or I think it's because some folks still still think it's a bug or like not intended behavior. Okay. <laughs> Because I haven't really seen a, basically anyone arguing that it should go. Mm -hmm. I've mostly seen discussions about uh, the trade-off itself. Yeah, well, that doesn't stop us now from fucking remo removing it, does it? <laughs> no, but I, I think it's fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, some people just don't want to deal with the waste, so I think we kind of need to have that. And I like that trade-off being there when you can just get a lot more power out of it as well. Yeah. So all you people that were OG, like couldn't do anything with nuclear waste, were stuck with it. You guys will, it's kind of like before we had lifts. Like you guys will remember the times before we implemented this and be like, oh, back in my day, we couldn't get rid of waste. So we had to deal with it. Like you guys can, can still enjoy that in those days. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna keep it. And it's gonna go into EA. Uh, 